It might have made you catch your breath or maybe even guffaw. Ah, Tom Brady throwing that Lombardi trophy across the water at that boat parade in Tampa. But tonight, a Southwest Florida woman is telling our Leslie Delaspore why she does not see this as a laughing matter at all. One thing about Tom Brady, he knows how to throw and catch a football. But tonight, one Fort Myers woman says Brady's latest throw insulted her family's legacy. I have a big history of this trophy being made by my father, and it's such an honor. And I know all the craftsmen that made it when my dad was there also at Tiffany's. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of hours go into it. It just really upset me that this trophy was disgraced and disrespected by being thrown as if it was a real football. You heard that right. Lorraine Gross's father, Greg Gross, was the master silversmith at Tiffany and Company that crafted the world famous Vince Lombardi trophy back in 1967 until his retirement in 1994. Gross tells us she's upset because she knows all the hard work that goes into making this coveted trophy awed by the world. I, I didn't sleep for the past two nights because of this. I was that upset because I, I know the, the passion that goes into this trophy and how my dad and all, all his fellow silversmiths are so proud to make this. I've seen this trophy being made at the factory in Tiffany's. My father did the seams. He had to chisel the seams um, by hand. Um, there is a newspaper article that shows him working on that trophy, uh, chiseling it, um, and the, uh, the ball is hand-formed as the base is as well. Rose says she's not a football fan and doesn't pay much attention to the game, but she watches it till the end for one specific reason. I only watch the game to watch the trophy come out, and I like to see all the the owners and the, and the and the football players just hold it up with such pride, and and just hold it up and show everybody. And it's just I get goosebumps. Like right now, I'm getting goosebumps from it because it's it's I'm very proud. And tonight, Gross has one message for the seven-time Super Bowl champion. This has nothing to do with your athletic ability whatsoever. It has everything to do with disrespecting a highly coveted trophy that a lot of work goes into by the silversmiths and all the other team players. I personally would like an apology, not just to me and my family and the other silversmiths, um, but to the, to the fans, to all the fans out there, all the football fans, the other team players. In Fort Myers, Leslie Delaspore, Fox 4 News.